I had got injured in uh, a homeowner's yard. I was working for a contractor on a 1099 job. Okay. And my I had got bit by a water moccasin, oh. and I was on on their property. I went to the hospital, and hospital bill was ninety two thousand okay. dollars. And man. I had got counseling from an attorney, and he didn't want to represent me or whatever. So. I was trying to figure out what I need to do because they said I had a one year period, a uh, two year period to file, uh, uh, file a suit or whatever. Okay. Wow, Pete, if you got bit by a water moccasin, that must have been close to life threatening. Then, right? If it, yeah, it, it, it was. They had to give me the anti venom shot. Yep. Wow, that's serious. No, that's a, that's a serious uh, on the job injury. What do you so. think, Bud? Uh, a couple things, Pete. So, well, one, uh, you know, listen to your attorney. Typically, you have three years from the time that you're hurt to bring a claim. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in most circumstances, I'm talking very generally now, there are particular instances where if you have to go against a, a municipality, a state entity, then it may be as short as one, but typically in Mississippi, it's three for general negligence. Two, uh, if you're dealing with your attorney, uh, look, uh, attorneys are people that work for you in the end, and if you're not happy with the way it's going, I, the first thing I would do, because attorneys are busy, and these claims do sometimes take a while to develop, but I would uh, tell him that you want to have a, a meeting with him and sit mm -hmm. down and have him tell you exactly where your case is, what the status of it is, and what he anticipates doing in the next 30, 60, 90 days. That's what I like to, to, to present it to my right. clients. Here's what's likely to happen over this period of time. And if you're happy with that, continue. If you're not, you can say, look, I want to get another attorney. That's your right to do at any point in time that you want to do that, okay? Right. And so I'm not encouraging you to do that. Your attorney may be doing a fine job. I don't know enough facts, but that's way, the way you should handle it. And uh, in this type of, you know, this is this is a lot of medical expenses, 92,000. Yeah. So yeah, that's real. you must have been hospitalized and, and been, been very life-threatening. But you need to make sure you not only have good counsel, but you need to be comfortable with the counsel that you have, Pete. It's, right. a, it's a relationship where you have to trust the person that's representing you, otherwise it just doesn't work. And so uh, that's the way I would proceed with it. Right, and just call. Yeah. And, and, and yeah. Jim, you, I mean, you understand it. I mean, people call, you gotta, sure. you yeah. gotta sometimes the, the squeaky wheel, right? And I, I understand, you know, attorneys are busy. Sometimes I, I, I can't get with people the same day that they call, maybe even take a day and a half or so to get back, but I always try to get back with everybody. And you're entitled to know, it's your case. That's right. To know what's going on with your case. And if you're not happy with the answer, you know, you don't have to stay there. And, and I would generally bring up COVID at this point and say the court systems it last is, year were a little true. bit slower and all that sort of stuff. But still getting back with Pete, that yeah, that's not a, you know. Yeah, it, it's, it's really has, you know, it's been a weird, you know, I don't have to tell everybody out there, the last year and a half has been a strange year and a half and the court systems are slow, have slowed down. The legal practice, everything, just like the rest of the world, is, is operating on a different timetable. Right. It's starting to get back to normal. Uh, so I wouldn't, you know, I would give my attorney a chance, uh, talk to him, but make sure you're comfortable with the answers. And if you're not, you don't have to stay there. And then, Jim, last thing on uh, for Pete's mm -hmm. question here, and I, and I think he was getting at this one, the time frame. We always talk about the clock is ticking on this one. It's been a year, I think Pete said, mm -hmm. and so he doesn't need to sit around too much no, no, longer, no. does he? No, I, I would call this week and just say, yeah. look, I need to talk to you about the status of my case. And, and most attorneys will be glad to do that. Either right. just uh, if you're happy with it on the phone, do that. If not, tell them you want something on a letter, or if you want to sit down, do that. You, and they should accommodate you. If they're hesitant to accommodate you with any of that, right. then that may be a sign you do need to get You ever been bit right. by a snake? No. <laughs> I have no. not a moccasin no. like Pete, thank God. Right. Uh, just a regular, it was uh, just a regular kind of rat snake. Right. It hurt. It hurt bad. I mean, I got a scar and everything. Well, I'm that sure thing. it hurts, but yeah. we got one that's poisonous. But, but yeah, I didn't get to go to the hospital. That's no joke. Uh, I had to so, go to the nurse's office, right. but uh, <laughs> don't mess with Look. them. Don't mess with them. I tell you, they're bit, bit by a moccasin. That is serious business. Yeah. Serious business. Pete, thank you so Good much luck, for Pete. the call tonight. Hope your uh, recovery is going well.